Okay, welcome back YouTube. Um, this is my next video uh, where I build my first bit of memory for my computer out of transistors. So stay tuned. Okay, so I started to build this gated latch. Oh, whatever. This gated latch, and I don't know why, I just I could not get it to work. Whatever I did, I added like another buffer. Um, I couldn't get this to work, but this has a data input and a write enable input and an output, right? So I previously built uh, this data latch, which basically is the same thing, except it has like an output and an output not. Um, but I mean, this does too, really. It's just not showing the output not. Or is it? So I built this data latch instead. Also, I was able to build it with four less transistors. And so here's the here's the data latch I built. I built I I laid out this breadboard where I could get two of them, two data latches on one breadboard, because my goal is to build sixteen bits of memory, sixteen bits of SRAM memory. So this would be my first bit right here, half of this breadboard. All right, there's the LED that shows the data in my first bit of memory. Um, and so this is the data input coming from, my screwdriver's messing up my focus. Um, yeah, there's my first, there's my data input, which would be my data. Um, there's a, uh, well, the write enable, uh, I guess I'll have to show you what I got going here first. So after this first bit of memory, I'm, I'm going to build 16. I'm going to build like four rows, four columns, four rows. So I turned this uh, data latch into just a little box because it's too hard. E eventually, I'm going to try to do something on a computer where I can uh, print out nice schematics. So it's too hard to draw all of that inside this area here. So that's my data latch in this box. Then I added a transistor on the output for a read enable. And then going into an AND gate, which this one goes to my write enable, which, you know, we knew about that right enable and then uh and here's my my data in and the output has to feed back into the data in whenever it's reading it actually doesn't feed back in it's reading it so i can read and write from this same line right here anyhow so then i'm gonna have a binary decoder I have four bits here and then i'll have a four bit one on on the left side and it makes like a matrix right so if this if this is if this one's selected and this one is selected then it enables these two and gates that are tied together and then the then i if i'm writing then this and gate will be active and the right at the right will write through here because my right enable if you follow that, that sounded really confusing. If my read enable is active and I'm choosing this chip, the, this uh, bit of memory, and my read, then I'll read what's, then it's gonna turn this switch on, turn this, uh, uh, it's gonna turn this transistor on and read what is on the uh, data output. So that's, you know, that's how each bit is going to work. And that's how I can use these binary decoders to select which one I want to read from or write to. Okay. So that seems a little confusing, but it's really not. Um, so anyhow, that's why I have these. So I have right now these two, I just have them go into a switch. This is my chip. This is my, my select right here, my address. This is my address. Right now I have... I have this address selected. When I have multiples of these, they'll all be using the same two wires. 
the same four wires actually, but um, whichever one is selected will be the one that gets read to or read from or written to. And then these are my read and write enable. So if I want to read or write, and then this is my data. Okay, so that breaks it down pretty simple, right? Address, read, write, and then here's my data to this one bit of memory. So let's turn it on. Okay, I got, got piles of transistors piling up everywhere. <coughs> okay. So what do we got? Um, so I, of course, I'm going to select this bit because it's the only bit of memory I have so far. Um, I don't remember which was read and which was write. The one that feeds back is read. The one that does not is write. So this number one here will write. I'm going to my fingers. Uh, so right now I have a, a, a zero. So if I want to write a one, I turn my data to one. No output yet. And now I want to write that one. See, I just I just push it up long enough to write the bit. And now I can turn it off. And there you go. I have a one written to this bit of memory. So now like I can turn this back off. That one is written. It's stored there. That's a little bit of information that's stored in that look in this in this location. I have a one stored. Now if I want to read that one, I can um read it by pushing up this but i don't really have anywhere i don't have another location that eventually i'll have like eight leds up here when i when i select read eight of these it will show me up here what those eight are i don't have that part of the circuit yet that'll be in my next video because i'm going to have hopefully i'm going to have 16 of these for the next video and then i'll have leds up here when i read eight of them it'll show me the values so right now i'm reading it that's it's why the, the light went out because I'm reading it currently. But if I turn the read back off, you can see the bit is still there. It's still a one. And and that's pretty much it. That's how it works. So now it's a zero. Let me write it. I can write a zero. Now in this memory location, there's a zero stored. You know, I could read the zero, but that's not going to show you anything. So anyhow, that's that's. That's a good little chunk for this next video. That's one bit of memory, one bit of SRAM, static RAM memory. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. It should be a really cool one because I'll have 16 bits and then I'll have a row of LEDs that show reading and writing. And, um, and uh, you know, I built this binary decoder in the last video right here. I built a binary decoder. So I just need to build one more and then I can just add that you know, to this matrix to uh, address each bit. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Um, if you found this interesting or got anything out of it in any way, um, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm just a few subscribers away from my thousand subscriber threshold that YouTube sets. So I'm anxious for that. And uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye.